So it seems that Disney Star Wars and their shills are not going to be happy until they have completely alienated all of their original fans. Now, a few days ago, I made a video reporting that Wikipedia had added pronouns to the character bios on its page. And in doing so, they took requests from people on Twitter to change certain pronouns, including Anakin Skywalker to she, her, and Luke Skywalker to they, them. So were they taking this seriously? No, they weren't taking it seriously. They were just doing it to irritate people and to bow to the uh, sickening community that believes that there's more than one gender in the world. But now we have this story amidst Wikipedia scandal. Luke Skywalker has been labeled as LGBTQ plus based on a 2022 short story by an activist writer named Sam Maggs. So we take a look down here. They've created a new page on Wikipedia. Now, before I go into this, I just want to say that Wikipedia is not owned by Disney. Uh, it's not paid by Disney. It just is the official wiki as far as Star Wars is concerned, and they will shill for Disney no matter what. Uh, they've created this page of LGBTQ plus individuals. This category is for organic beings who had one or more of the following traits. Their gender identity was not defined within a binary gender model. Their gender identity did not align with their assigned gender at birth. They experienced attraction towards other beings of their own gender or multiple genders and or they did not experience attraction towards or have interest in reproduction with other beings. These are the people that they've added. Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Wolhulf Tarkin. Now these other characters, I guess they're from the comic books or maybe Clone Wars, which I never really got into. I never watched. I think Sabe wasn't Sabe, uh, one of Padme Amidala's decoys. But let's just take a look at these three here. Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Wolhulf Tarkin. I don't know where they got the Wolhulf Tarkin from, but I think it's kind of funny that they've placed one of the most evil people, one of the most evil characters in the Star Wars universe on their LGBTQ plus page. I mean, he was responsible for the destruction of an entire planet. So there's, there's some gay toxicity for you. Obi-Wan Kenobi, I don't know where that's come from. There were stories of Obi-Wan Kenobi being in love with a woman. Now, this article here is focusing on Luke Skywalker. So let's just take a look on why they say that Luke Skywalker was added to this page. When questioned why he was included in the category, Wikipedia is first answered by writing on Twitter. There is a story in which he felt romantic feelings towards a guy. The site went on to claim that their source for this assertion is the short story Luke on the Bright Side written by Sam Maggs and published in June 2022. Stories of Jedi and Sith, an anthology book marketed towards children ages 9 to 12. Makes it even worse. Now, interestingly, the actual story doesn't appear to show any romantic feelings expressed by Luke Skywalker towards Sergeant Ray Hollis of Alliance Special Forces, despite Sam Mag's clear history of pushing her activism into her stories. Uh, so Luke arrives on Hoth. He uses a force to aid the Rebel Alliance in digging, given their radar equipment is not functioning. And then him and this uh, Hollis are caught in a, a cave-in, and they have to dig themselves out. There's a point in the story where Luke has to clench Hollis's hands and go into a trance and concentrate on Tatooine, to use the heat from ta this, this I can barely even say this because it, it's it's so silly. Has to use the heat from his trance from Tatooine to heat up both of their hands in order for them to be able to melt the ice to be able to escape from this uh, ice slide, this ice cave. So in touching hands, that means that Luke and this guy were attracted to each other for a split second. So that's why they've added Luke to the LGBTQ page. So if you've ever, if you're a man and you've ever touched another man's hand, 
just as a handshake or maybe I hold my son's hand, you know, when we're walking into the store or anything like that, that means that you have gay feelings for that person according to this article. And you should be placed on an LGBTQ plus page because you are now LGBTQ plus. They will come up with anything, any reason to try to make it so that someone is gay, to try to make it so that someone has feelings for someone of the opposite sex. They would, they would just come up with anything at this point. None of it makes sense. I look down at our faintly glowing hands and then back up at Ray. I wouldn't say he looks happy. I don't think the guy has looked happy a day in his life. There's still some doubt in his eyes, but I will say, if I'm going easy on myself, that he looks impressed. I flash the same big grin I gave him the first time I saw him. See, Jedi aren't that bad. In that, and that's from the book. None of that tells me, oh my God, Luke Skywalker wanted to bend this guy over. This this doesn't make sense. None of this makes sense. This this has nothing, just no gay connotations in this whatsoever, but... Wikipedia decided that based on this story that now Luke Skywalker should be added to their their gay their gay page along with like I said Obi-Wan Kenobi they don't explain why he's on there Wolf Tarkin they don't explain why he's on there I guess I guess he's on there. if this is true that maybe he had no interest in reproducing so if you have no interest in ever reproducing, that makes you gay. That makes you gay because it says right here, they did not experience attraction towards or have interest in reproduction with other beings. So if you just don't feel like ever getting married, you don't ever feel like dating anybody, you just feel like being asexual, you're fine with yourself for the rest of your life and you don't feel like reproducing, you don't feel like having kids, that makes you uh, LGBTQ plus. Really, Re really. <sighs> so once again, Wikipedia and Star Wars have pushed me a little bit further off the cliff of not even wanting to have anything to do with them at all. Mandalorian season three is coming out. And honestly, I don't even want to give them my support at this point and even watch the damn show because they are just taking Star Wars and flushing it down the biggest toilet that they can find. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And I'll talk to you next time.